Hello, and welcome to another video tutorial from Oklahoma City University's Center for Excellence in Teaching and Learning. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can save and download videos from Panopto. Oklahoma City University is no longer going to be using Panopto after October 18th. So if you have created a video in Panopto, you will need to download it before that date. So let's open up a new window and go to panopto.com. Once there, click the sign in button and enter the address you have registered with. Now, I am an administrator in Panopto, so I see every video that has been uploaded into the Oklahoma City University accounts. However, yours is going to be a little bit different. You would click in your My Folder, and then you would see your recordings on this screen right here. I'm going to go to Browse. Just be sure you click on My Folder. If you do click Browse, if that was an option for you, you would only see your recordings. So <clears throat> navigate to the recording that you would like to download. So I'm just going to come in here and just select one. All right, so let's say this is a video that I want to save and download. I'm going to open the video. Pause that as it starts to play. And you'll notice up here in the upper right hand corner, there is a download button. It's a down facing arrow with a line underneath it. It says download podcast. So click that. And it downloads it into your downloads folder on your computer. Please notice this only downloads the edited version of the video as it was saved in Panopto. It is not going to download captions or transcripts from Panopto. If you created any quizzes or anything like that in your video using Panopto, it's not going to download those either. As you can see, if I open up my downloads folder, It is still downloading, but there it is right there. All right, there's my video. In another video tutorial, I show you how you can upload downloaded videos into your course in D2L. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to Oklahoma City University's Center for Excellence in Teaching and Learning.